Hello everybody, Mr. Stixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. Today, we're going to look at three incredible creations. A track based on flowing water with winding rivers, waterfalls and caves. The biggest marble run that I have ever seen. And a firework launcher. Okay then, let's get started and look at this amazing piece of artwork we've got right here. I was blown away when I saw this for the first time. And of course in a minute we're going to send some marbles around this track, but I'll quickly mention that everything you see in today's video can be downloaded off the Steam Workshop. So if you want to check these things out for yourselves guys, you can do, and I'll leave a few links in the description below in this video so you can check them out if you want to. Anyway, let's go and spawn some marbles in and see how it all works. And we have 100 and 57 marbles here all named after my own viewers and by the way I am going to be resetting the marble names back to zero for each video in the future and this should be better for you guys and myself as well so if you'd like me to name a marble for you in the next video then let me know in the comments section of this video or essentially my most recent marble world video and that means that even if you do feature in this video you'll need to ask me again each time you want to feature in an upcoming video I might adjust this system over time as we move forwards, but we're just going to try this for a bit and see what happens. Anyway, let's get going. All right, and here come the marbles now down the waterfall into the first corner. It's a bit of a crash here, actually. <laughs> There's so many, and oh no, Finn. Finn has got stuck, uh, but oh, uh, somebody just catapulted off. Menlo has suddenly taken off to space, it seems. Finn is still stuck on the rock, unfortunately, but everyone else has come back upside down without any gravity, and then they've reached this track up the top, and Bentley, oh no, Bentley has fallen off as well uh, they were going to come down through this tunnel here um, and in a minute guys there there is actually a camera mode where you can select a marble and kind of go with it in third person mode if you know what I mean so we're going to do that in a second and have a look at it but let's just have a look overall first and see what goes on here so they're going to come right up to the top over this kind of like roller coaster looking design under the shelter then they're winding down the rivers here right to the bottom of the track which is this part the lowest part here um, and back up to the top again it's very very quick and actually this is now the end or rather the beginning um, and the barrier is still up so uh, they're all going to kind of fold in and we can see the positions here we've got logan jadwin blitz <laughs> youtuber blitz right there we have thomas tank engine Braden, Ethanol, Deathstroke and Jaden all in the front row but you can see everyone else there sort of piling in behind. Anyway, let's send them around again guys but this time I'm going to choose somebody at random um, and use camera mode and that should be a lot of fun hopefully. So let's choose this one. I don't know, that's Ali. Okay, we've selected Ali. Right, camera mode and then play. Okay, there they go. They're off, they're off and we're following Ali around the track right now. We're, oh my goodness, we're inside a waterfall. <laughs> And some of the marbles are nearly falling off the track and now we're upside down. Um, one problem I find with the camera mode here is that you can't actually like uh, control it at all. So if I press anything right now, it's just going to quit the camera mode. Um, but it'd be really nice if we could actually, you know, move the camera around the marble so we could see around corners. Because at the moment, it kind of, you know, sends us all over the place. Uh, but let's put the names on here and see how Ali is doing compared to other people. Kayan is that just behind? And Henry is there as well. Oh my god, see what I mean guys, you kind of, like the camera sort of goes inside the track occasionally. Oh, it's a bit of a shame because see Felix there. It's so quick isn't it? And this is now, we've restarted I think, I oh, know we haven't, we haven't quite restarted the track yet. Winding around these S's and oh no, somebody is stuck right at the back of the pack now, they got a bit stuck down there. This is the start of the track. I really do like this camera mode though, it is good, I mean, I'd much rather have it than not have it. Okay, let's have a view from above then. I mean, this is just a gorgeous design, isn't it? The whole thing is amazing here. We've got some more people stuck, unfortunately. Who is that? We've got Rio, uh, Diamonds, Caleb and Finn all stuck in the same place. Uh, which I don't know why this rock here must be, a, a, you know, a bit of a troublemaker, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but let's just zoom out. 
and as you can see the whole track is now covered in marbles uh, but it works really well doesn't it I mean not too many people have become stuck considering there are 157 of you going around right now there are some extra details which I didn't even notice at first but who was that uh, oh look at that okay so we've now got um, is that Matrix and <laughs> someone else has just shot off to space up there? What's this? That's a bit of track. Yeah, we've got some really nice extra details here. These pipes coming out the rock with what can only be described as toxic waste or slime or something. Uh, and then, you know, pulling down on the, on the ground here. Uh, but there's some tree stumps and also barriers to keep people away from this. It, it must be some kind of toxic <laughs> liquid, this stuff. Anyway, let's just zoom out again and have a look. Loads of people are actually, is it, look at that, loads of people are going up here now to dat as well and they don't have any gravity. Where are they actually going from? I don't know where they're leaving the uh, the world from here, but <laughs> I think they're still going up away from us now. There's no hope of getting them back, is there? It must be, uh, it must be this section here. If we click, like, you can actually see there's some tracks, but there must be some gaps in them. Uh, they're invisible pieces of track. So there must be some gaps in there where everyone's getting through. Anyway, let's just carry on. I've just noticed, look at that little house. <laughs> that's what that thing was up in the air, look. That's a house over there. That's an upside down house. I reckon that's a mouse's house because it's up against the wall. So I, you know how mice have a hole in the wall, right? <laughs> I, bet they, I bet they live in there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about this track. I think it's amazing personally, but let's go and have a look at the next creation. Oh, cliffhanger. <laughs> Just really quick, everybody. YouTube tells me that only 3.9% of my viewers are actually subscribed to my channel, and it really would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button right now. It's completely free, of course, and it just means that together we can make those serious gains. Thank you so much to everybody who is already a subscriber. I massively appreciate it. Now this is a firework launcher. So it's quite a simple uh, build actually. It's very simple in fact, uh, but it's really, really cool. So what happens is you spawn the marbles in down here. If I just do that now, there we go. That's 900 marbles, okay? But of course we can spawn in more. Um, but what they do is they go down here up the tube and these things, wait, what are these? Are they boost? Yeah, they, they are actually boosters that are painted a bit like wood, I believe. So they don't look like boosters. Uh, but it goes into these pipes here and right up the top, which is actually through the ceiling. If you look here, the pipe goes into the ceiling or that light there, but it actually goes through to the other side and then the marbles can sort of shoot up into the sky. So if we put the barriers down, three, two, one, go. The barriers are down, the marbles are going in and very quickly, oh, look at that. And they've got these trails on as well, these multicolored trails. And here they come. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> That's so cool, isn't it? Let's do another round. Another 900 marbles going in. Some of them are falling out, but they come straight out the top, most of them. And then they come back down to earth again. The room is an absolute mess now. But if we just despawn those marbles, and we'll do it again. We'll, we'll spawn in like a double round here. So we've got 900, 1800, go! Okay, that's double marbles. That's amazing. That is so, so cool. Now, do I dare to turn the names of the marbles on as well? The screen is going to be absolutely covered in names. But let's try it, shall we? So I'll just spawn the marbles in again. Press F3. There we go. So the names are there. And we'll try and do a double round. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And they're going into the tube. Okay, this is going to be absolutely crazy, this. I'll spawn in the second round as well. Oh my goodness, there we go. Oh, I'm getting dizzy watching this. Whoa, check that out on the floor. <laughs> that is absolute chaos down there. All right, let's try it again. Okay, should we do a triple round, guys? Let's do three times 900 now. So that's 2,700, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, let's go up into the sky. Hang on, I'll slow it down a bit as well. There we go. This is just incredible, isn't it? I can't even, like, my brain can't even comprehend <laughs> what's going on here. Okay, then, I'm going to do one more of these before we go on to the next creation. Here we go, here we go. I'm going to spawn in 2,700. That's what we had before. 3,600 marbles. 4,500. Let's just go to over five, uh, 5,000. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, that's just... Okay, 5,000. I think I've limited it back to 5,000 for the moment. But I think for good reason, because we probably can't take too much more of this with all the names turned on as well. If we go high enough, we can probably reach the very top of the firework here and see... Okay, wow, they're going really high. Look at this. How high do they go? Ian, 
Who's going to get to the highest level? I think Lil's might have been the highest one there. We've got Cameron. Cameron is pretty high up as well. Uh, and Aaron has gotten through <laughs> the crowds down below to reach a pretty high... Oh my goodness, Thomas! That must be a record Thomas has got there. I think Thomas has won that. <laughs> Here comes Nick as well. Nick is... Oh, Nick and Ian. Anyway, that is meant to be my bedroom, but apparently it is not a bedroom anymore. It's more like a, an absolute tip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and get down here and see. Oh, look at that. Look at the absolute chaos on the floor here. And Pog has... Oh my goodness, Pog just crashed into somebody and made them go through the wall. <laughs> How did... There they are, look at that. And by the way, the next creation is probably going to be even more crazy than this. All right, let's go and check it out. I mean, look at the scale of it. It's enormous. I mean, let's just have a go with it, shall we? Because I don't even know where to start with this thing. <laughs> but in fact, I think the start line is somewhere down here. Yeah, here it is. Here's the start line. And there's actually like how many tracks? Two, three. I think there's five starting tracks, which will spawn 180 marbles each. And then they're going to filter out here through this small gap and make their way along this massive track. So let's just spawn them in. Here we go. Oh, we're still in slow motion, actually. Let's speed it up a bit. There we are. Okay, so yeah, here's the box, and they're going to just filter out slowly but surely. That is 1,640 marbles there. Now, where are they? Okay, they're in this tube at the moment. And then they go up here into this funnel section, the spiral round it. I wonder how long it takes for one marble to get round the whole thing. <laughs> but there's lots of different routes. Like, you can see they split off here, and there's one of these spinny bars. Um, so they can either go left, and oh, look at that. Oh, wow, there's a cannon here. Oh, that's amazing. So they're actually going onto the cannon. Hang on a minute. Should we follow one? This one's going down the cannon. So what I'm going to do is go into camera mode. And we're going to press play and see what happens. Oh, oh, it didn't go down the cannon. Oh, this one, this one's going on the, uh, on the cannon. Marble 338. Let's go. Here it goes. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> that was so fast. I hope one day we get to see how fast they're moving as well. We can record top speeds and everything. Because that was pretty impressive, wasn't it? So these ones seem to go through the pipe here onto the funnel. And there's not many coming this route, is there, to be fair. Um, but all of the other ones have gone a different way for now. Let's see how fast it looks in real time. Oh my goodness, that's so powerful. What I want to do now is actually go into the pipe and watch them coming towards us. Here we go, here's one. And whoa, that is pretty scary actually. That, that is quite scary having that coming towards you. Anyway, let's have a look at the rest of the track now. So we've got a big spiral over here. And uh, what is this section? That's interesting. Oh, I see. So just go down the slope there. And there's a, there's a big escalator here. It goes right up to the top and then zigzags down. Look at this. That's an interesting piece of track actually. So how do they get up here? Is there boosters on it? Yeah, I think there's boosters on this bit. Uh, this is also very interesting because look at that there's another start line here okay let's just put the barriers down and see how that works so i put them down and i'm wondering if this is the same part of the track or if it's actually a separate track over here i, I don't know actually anyway let's just see what happens so look how cop is it's like a bowl of spaghetti <laughs> i've just noticed something else like everywhere you look there's something interesting and it's very distracting but look at this thing over here so, some kind of grassy board with hedges on it and spinners. Um, but I'm not sure if any of the marbles are going down this at the moment. There's a lot in the tubes here, though. Right, okay, so these marbles here are going to go up the escalator and then along the uh, the roof of this building. Or oh, what kind of building is that? Anyway, uh, they're going to go up the escalator along the roof of this building, then around the spinner here with booster. Okay, that's going to be pretty cool to watch because they're going to go around really fast. So let's see what happens when they get to the top of that escalator. Okay, here we go. Onto the roof of the building. And then into the, the spinner with boosters all around it. That's going to move so fast when it's... <laughs> This is going to be amazing to watch. Let's just speed it up a bit. Normal time. There we go. Whoa! Hey, hang on a minute. How is that stopping? Oh no, somebody's got stuck there. Look. Oh, they're going around again. That's handy. That is... That's very, very cool to see. What happens down here? Oh yeah, now this is a balancing piece of track. So when the track gets full to the top, um, it actually tips and all the marbles fall out of it and go down... I'm assuming, where are they going to go? Onto this piece of the track or something. Anyway, let's just find out. Okay, they go through the houses. That's nice. Wow, that's really cool. 
and they go into the grassy section here. That's a really interesting design, isn't it? How they're going through the... Uh, how do they get over those? Oh, I see. There's ramps there. Okay. Then they're going to go back along, down the funnel, down this piece of track. And here we go. They're going to go onto our board here and through the spinners. That's super cool, isn't it? And then they're going to go into the pipe. Now, what happens in there? I'm assuming there's some kind of booster or anti-gravity sort of pad uh, to get them up the pipe because they're going a long way up here and then through and down here. Lots of ups and downs in this pipe. And amazingly, I don't think anybody's getting stuck, which is really, really good. But uh, there was a bit of a traffic jam over here, look, that everyone seems to be getting through. Let's have a look at a different part of the track now. So we've got this huge tube spiralling upwards. Let's go inside it and see. Wow. Okay, now this section must be the most time-consuming section of the whole track, because these escalators here are... I mean, I love them. They are quite slow. And look how high up they go. There's loads of them here. So all these marbles have been on them for ages. There's Moo Moo Head right at the top. This must take a very, very long time to complete. But when they get up the top, there seems to be some sort of funnel here, which can go four different ways. That's interesting. I don't even know where the end of the track is, but I'm assuming they can get back to the beginning. Oh, yes, here we go, look. So this is actually where the start line is, and the marbles can go back to the beginning from all sorts of different directions. So we've got this escalator section here. The Cringe Master and Mario just on, on the back of that right now. Um, and we've got Michael there and now oh no, some of the yeah, Nam's on the floor, uh, Naughty Lag is on the floor, Lambert is on the floor, Braden and Pippa, Carl and Damon on the skirting board here, RJ Pog and Milford and Ashy down there, and Quinesha as well. But yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> a few people have come off. But you know, considering how enormous this marble run is, it's quite impressive, isn't it? That I think most people have actually stayed on the track. But it, it is just fantastic. And oh my goodness, there's, so, <laughs> there's too many names. And I'm sure we probably won't get to see every section of this track. But look at these, there are actually more balancers here. But there are not many marbles on it, unfortunately. But yeah, this track, when you get a certain amount of marbles on it, it will actually weigh it uh, or sort of tip the balance. And then they'll fall down this part of the track instead. But I don't know if we're going to get enough on there to see it operating in today's video. It would be quite cool if we could actually use this arcade machine, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you could maybe like get the marbles to hit a button and it would actually make it like change the screen or do something. That would be really cool. Quinn is stuck, unfortunately, but look, Cheese has overtaken Alan and Hover Bloke. And Stella Ring is taken up the back there. Nobody is going to hit Quinn as they go past, even James as well. Um, there's a second Alan. Can the second Alan actually do anything for Quinn here? No. Everybody's going around the outside, which is an absolute tragedy for Quinn. <laughs> the game vlogger there and Brayden. Teardrop and Quinette as well. James is coming in the background with Cyber. I can see Marley the King, Weeb Girl, Chaos of the Wind. Nam in the background as well. Yeah, unfortunately, Quinn, I don't think anybody... I don't know how you got there. How did that happen? Unless you fell off a different part of the track and landed on here. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like anybody's going to knock you forwards there. Pippa in the background. We've got Dino Boo and Cameron, Cyber, Mason, Philippines, David. Okay, now there's a lot of people on the floor. We can also see where there are traffic jams now because people are actually not moving at all in, in certain places, like down here, for example. But this section is doing very well, actually, isn't it? Nobody's getting stuck here. Everybody's going through. And it's quite a popular choice for the marbles. They're, they seem to enjoy going down this section. Anyway, that's all we've got time for in this video, unfortunately. But let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it and you want me to do more of this kind of thing in the future where we check out workshop creations. And, uh, you know, I really enjoy doing this. So let me know if you do as well and we'll see what we can do for the future. Don't forget, if you want a marble to be named after you in the next video, then let me know in the comments section of this video because I'm now going to reset it back to zero. So we're going to start building up the names again. And for each video, I'm going to reset it now and just see how that system kind of goes for the moment but i really hope you've enjoyed this video i certainly have thank you so much for watching everybody take care and i hope to see you all very very soon bye for now